It's a simple story. It's a story about real people. It's a story about us. It's a story that LGBT people have known our whole lives, which is that we live in a country where the laws insist we are second-class citizens. If we are lucky, we find people who will walk through life with us and hold that pain with us and help us understand that love is the only way through. This campaign began on October 3rd, and since that time, 20 couples have participated, requesting marriage licenses, knowing they would be denied. You get to the point where you think, this is who I am, and for what it's worth for the last number of years that we've got left, let's live this one honestly. This was about my family. Just because marriage is legal in Massachusetts and New York, it's not over. The fight is really just beginning. There's the whole family. That's Emma. It's part of our life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. It kind of feels cool to be a part of the beginning of something big. We take this action on behalf of LGBT youth who are growing up in southern states like North Carolina, who are growing up in states where they're getting a message that they are less than. We take this action on their behalf so that one more generation of queer kids will not grow up hearing that. In the long run, what I would like to come out of this entire campaign is to be able to marry my partner of 30 years, Elizabeth E., who I love very much. We came to, again, apply for a marriage license. There's our application. Catherine, Elizabeth, uh, it's with a sincere regret that we're going to deny your marriage license again today. The laws that treat us as second-class citizens are unjust. We are choosing not to leave until we're served. Okay. And we will resist these laws until they change on the federal level, ensuring that LGBT people in all 50 states are equal citizens under the law. We are starting a new Southern Equality Movement. <laughs>